The pilot and the passenger killed in this weekend's glider crash at Kiana Point State Park have been identified. 58-year-old Mark Hill of Wailua and 17-year-old A.J. Lazier of Texas both died Saturday morning when the single-engine, two-seat ultralight trike they were flying in went down, taking both of their lives. KITV4's Jefferson Tyler spoke with representatives for their families. He now joins us live from the neighborhood where Mark Hill used to live. Jefferson. Yeah, those representatives have told me that they really want us to respect the privacy of those families, so we're doing that right now. But I have spoken to other people in this neighborhood right now who have told me how beloved Mark Hill was. One of them gave me this letter here, I'm gonna read it to you. Mark was an awesome guy, great pilot, awesome kite surfer, solid waterman, legit airman, cool dude. We will miss him in our neighborhood. And that's what's still happening right now is that family and friends are mourning Hill right now. Uh, you can see the, the video that we have of the shrine that's outside his house with pictures and flowers. Hill was born in Liverpool in England and moved to Cape Town, Africa, where he learned to surf. And then he ended up in Maui in the 80s, fell in love with paragliding in 1992. And then, according to friends, took up the air in 1998 when he found paragliding. Now, he became the Hawaii paragliding champion just one year later. He also explored Australia, the Caribbean, and Colorado along his travels before finally settling down here in Oahu. He's always enjoyed that, the hang gliding, paragliding, um, just kind of feeling that freedom in the air, I guess. Um, I never really got into it, but I, I do know that he, he definitely loved that part. Now talk about, yes, he met his wife, Kathy, in 2005, who he loves very much. Now, the attorney for the 17-year-old that we spoke to says that this was not a lesson that where these, the crash where these two died. So that was not a learning experience that was going on at that time. And the FAA confirms that as they say that the flight was a personal flight. We'll come up with you with the latest information as we get it. Jefferson Tyler, KIDP4, Island News.